Hello, in this uh, short video I would like to show you how easy it is to add drives and transport services to automation components based on uh, Game for Automation. Game for Automation is a framework for virtual commissioning and simulation which is based on Unity. So I'm just starting and adding a small demo part to it. We are using the Cadena's part library for getting a standard part into Unity. Parts for Card is also included in Game for Automation. So we'll search for robot type of thing. Okay, let's use this thing. That's a base plate for robot and it can move to the left and the right. We'll maybe make it for 4,000 millimeters and we are placing this into game for automation okay here it is one second i want to press okay here we have got it <clears throat> so for adding here drive we can select the component we want would like to move that's this here we add a component a drive you will see here now some arrows which are defining the direction please note that you should show the local coordinate system because the directions are always in the local coordinate uh, coordinate system you can change the coordinate system by pushing here on the gray arrows or uh, not the coordinate system sorry you can change the direction by pushing here on the arrows and by selecting the direction for the drive you would like to so let's move to the left and the right and we would like to invert it i can push on space so to the right hand side here on the screen or to the negative linear x direction local linear x direction the drive the move we can check it by starting and now this will move in a target speed with uh, 200 millimeters per second we can increase it it will move faster and we can move our keyboard with three three for moving it forward and one for moving it backward or into the negative direction so it's the same thing if you would like to turn it so we can might add here another axis a turn axis uh, to the component so we add a drive we can push on top while being in the editor and we will get the directions assigned the the circle is where it's turning and the flash or the arrow is the direction where it's turning to so you will see it will turn here on the local z axis which is the global y axis and just to check it we turn it on and you see how it's turning here and we can also control it with the mouse buttons that's how you could add to your model linear or rotational drives so now we'll add uh, a transport service to our model maybe move that a little bit away and we will import another component from parts to cut so we'll select a conveyor a simple conveyor search for conveyor okay here for example a belt conveyor we could also change here the parameters but we will leave it like it is maybe make it to, uh, 200 to 
thousand millimeters long. Sorry. And we transfer it looking for automation. We've got here our small conveyor. And same thing here. We could add also drives uh, to this conveyor, for example, a linear drive. Now it will move to the uh, left and right. See here, but we don't want to add a linear drive, we want to add a transport surface. And that's why we are now adding to this surface. We need to select the right one, this one, a transport surface. We add a transport service, transport service to this one. And if you get on the now on the conveyor, we'll see that the transport surface is connected uh, to the drive and we can also here change the direction. That's the transport direction we would like to have. Now for testing it, the easiest way is to uh, push on S and this will create a standard component and a standard surf, uh, uh, source on the drive. And we can directly start it and we will, can check and the surface is acting like expected and for example for the source we just created uh, we can generate them automatically if the distance is higher than 300 millimeters so and let's maybe make that drive faster and let's make it jog forward and you will see how the drive is running and the cans are follow, uh, falling down at the end of the transport surface. So that's all I can show you right now. You see how easy it is to define uh, transport surfaces and drives with Game for Automation. You can get Game for Automation on the Unity Asset Store. Goodbye.